incrementally the knowledge you add to your mental stockpile grows over time as it combines with everything else that you put in there this is compounding in action and it works with knowledge in much the same way as it does with interest Charlie Munger has said that the game of life is the game of everlasting learning. He's also he has also said that those who keep learning will keep rising in life. Now, this to, these to me were profound words, and I embrace them as a way of life. You see, the body is limited in ways that the mind is not. By the time most people turn forty years old, their bodies begin to deteriorate. But there is no limit to the amount of growth and development that our minds can sustain. reading keeps our minds alive and growing and that is why we should all inculcate a healthy reading habit books are truly life changing once you have developed developed the habit of reading every day while watching your every thought the neural connections that compound through the effort will make you an entirely new person after a few years buffett and munger estimate that they spend 80% of their daily lives reading or thinking about what they have read therein lies the secret to becoming smarter the way to achieve success in life is to learn constantly once when asked about the secrets to his success warren buffett held up stacks of paper and said read 500 pages like this every day that's how knowledge works it builds up over time like compound interest albert einstein had reportedly said that compound interest is the most powerful force in the entire universe So what happens when you apply such a powerful force to knowledge building? You become a learning machine. Even after achieving so much enormous success, Buffett still reads for many hours every day, and he often attributes much of his success to his good reading habit. Reading allows him to learn the lessons of others. The more you read, the more you will build your mental repertoire, and incrementally, the knowledge you add to your mental stockpile grows over time as it combines with everything else that you put in there. this is compounding in action and it works with knowledge in much the same way as it does with interest eventually when faced with new challenging or ambiguous situations you will be able to draw on this dynamic in a repository or what munger calls the lattice work of mental models mental models are an explanation of how things work what variables matter in a given situation and how they interact with each other in short mental models are how we make sense of the world <laughs>